guys, this is the Wild Report, and today I'm going to be showing you a really unique craft you can make to help wildlife when it snows like this. Let's get started. Alright guys, so we're here in a location where I think we can find the first material we need for a bird feeder, which is a pine cone. Now, many of you have probably made pine cone bird feeders before. We're doing a little bit of a different one than you're probably used to. We're not using bird seed this time. We are using more high protein, high fat materials that will give the birds sustained energy rather than quick carbs. I want ones that aren't half eaten by squirrels, if I can find them. The problem is, well, not the problem, I guess, but just an interesting thing that you probably don't know about pine cones in general, is that pine cones actually do contain a nut. It's called a pine nut. And you may have seen pine nuts in the store, and they're little white nuts. They look like sunflower seeds, I guess, if they were pale. But pine nuts are really high in protein and fat, and squirrels love them here. And all across the world, a variety of different animals do uh, subsist on pine nuts. They are an excellent source of many different nutrients. And so these pine cones, I think, have probably already been scavenged for pine nuts. Some of them are still closed, like this. You see the scales are locked together. That means there's still pine nuts in this one, but others like this have already been eaten by squirrels. So some birds would actually get pine nuts out of these. All right, guys, we finally have all the materials. All right, now the materials, of course, are the pine cones we just collected. These are the very center of this feeder. The second is peanut butter. Any brand of peanut butter will do. Just try to make sure you get peanut butter with less added sugar because that is not great for birds. Uh, and this is extremely high in fat and you also have some decent protein with peanut butter. Then we have these three are the dry ingredients here. Uh, I did specially select these to deal with the birds in winter time to help them out a lot. So the first we have here are walnuts, and walnuts are an excellent source of fat, and they also have a pretty high protein content. So fats will provide long-term energy for birds. Then we have peanuts, which are also a pretty good source of fat, a little bit different type of fat, and they also have a very high protein content. So these are really high protein, these are really high fat. Between the two, you're getting a pretty good meal. And as an added bonus, I also have quinoa. Now quinoa is a grain of course, it is a carbohydrate, that means it provides fast, short-term energy, it'll help them get their body heat up really fast and it's cold if they need it. So between these four ingredients here, between the peanut butter, the peanuts, the walnuts, and the quinoa, you have a complete meal with proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is find a flat surface. You can use any flat surface, right now I'm using my highly professional Little Tykes table. This is not product placement, this is just with the table I have. So um, if you're using a surface that cannot get dirty, like your kitchen counter, you're gonna wanna bring wax paper along. Um, you can just lay this out. Wax paper is good because you're using lots of fats here and it will repel them. So that it hopefully will not get sticky mess all over your countertop. Kids, if you're going to try this at home, definitely bring wax paper so your mom doesn't bite your head off after you get peanut butter all over the place. So what you want to do is take a big old glob of peanut butter. There is no measurement here. Just get a big old spoonful. There you go. And just get this out on the wax paper inside your pine cones. Now we'll get to coat this in peanut butter. While the original plan was to coat the pine cones in peanut butter and roll them in the dry ingredients, that just wasn't meant to be. All right, there we go. There's um, oh, look at that! That had peanut butter all over it two seconds ago. <laughs> it comes right off onto my hands again. It's because the peanut butter is freezing. I didn't expect this to happen. You know, when I was playing this episode, know. when I was playing this episode, I wasn't like, oh, maybe I should warm up the peanut butter so it doesn't freeze. No, it's North Carolina. It's not even December 10th. Peanut butter is not supposed to be freezing in five minutes outside. All right, so now what we're gonna do is crush up these dry ingredients and get them really fine. So what we're just gonna do is mash them. We're just gonna mash these up. Bailey, you can come help. Maybe we should just mix all the ingredients with the peanut butter and then... Wait a second. And the peanut butter won't just go in the pine cones by itself. What if we just put out a big lot of peanut butter out here and mix all the ingredients with it to begin with? Poke, 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 just a spoon. You know, my hands are starting to... Now that I'm not really moving them, they're completely numb and I can't feel anything. Next, we're going to do the same thing to the peanut peanuts. We're going to crush them up, so we'll get to that right now. All right, so here we got some walnut and peanut mix right here. It actually looks pretty appetizing. I'm not gonna lie. I know, it actually looks really good. Let's add the queen, let's add the quinoa now. Mm. 
Now we just mix everything together with peanut butter. Forget the pine cones. Pine cones do not work today. Will they work for you? Maybe, I can't guarantee it. Try it yourself with a big pine cone the real way. But what I'm gonna do, because, I don't know, What paper. is that stuff? It's wax paper. Oh. <laughs> that scared me really bad. <laughs> I was like, what? We're gonna make a wildlife feeding ball. <laughs> this is literally just, a, oh no, the wax paper. It's coming off. Look at that. That is a ball of nutrition for whoever eats it. I, you know what? We're gonna make little balls. Hey, let's make lots of little ones. Okay. We were originally gonna make five pine cones that were gonna look like this, but because science and life hates us, we <laughs> ended up making five balls of wildlife feed. All right, guys. So we let these freeze overnight. Uh, they did. They did freeze quite nicely. We put some popsicle sticks in them. So now they're almost like little animal lollipops. So what we're gonna go do is set these out in the woods. Uh, we did also get some bird seeds, specifically for birds, because these are ended up being more like a deer kind of food. So these will hopefully attract attention from some of the larger mammals, and we also have some bird seed, of course, for the birds. So let's go set these out. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lay these down here on the ground, and these will melt, and the peanut butter especially will melt pretty quickly. But once again, these are very nutrient dense wildlife lollipops here. They'll supply a very, very good meal for any kind of deer or opossum or raccoon or maybe even skunk or squirrel, of course, that decides to come take part of these lollipops. All right, guys, that's great. So now, any animal that happens to come by here during the winter, this will feed deer, opossums, raccoons, skunks, squirrels, and all kinds of different bird species. So we're gonna come back tomorrow and see who's eating what. By the next morning, the treats were already working their magic. The actual peanut butter had been eaten by mammals overnight, but birds could not get enough of the leftovers. Well everyone, that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed and will try this craft for yourselves at home. Remember that there will be a very important live stream on Wednesday, December 27th at 10 a.m. where I will cover some exciting new gear and a thrilling trip which will change this channel forever. Thanks for watching and have a Merry Christmas. This is Benzino of The Wall Report, signing out.